We set out nice and early from our boondocking spot near Mancas, Colorado to drive 200 miles east towards our next national park destination. Welcome to Great Sand Dunes National Park and Preserve. I'm Diana and behind the camera is Matt and we are on our journey to visit all 419 national park units. Great Sand Dunes National Park and Preserve is actually two units, one for the national park and one for the preserve. Great Sand Dunes are the tallest sand dunes in North America. So we're super excited to explore them. Today, we'll spend the afternoon uh, here. We'll do some sandboarding, we'll do some hiking, and we'll see what else we can do here. So to actually get onto the sand dunes, you have to wade through Medano Creek. And we're all wearing shoes. So we took off our shoes and socks and just walked through barefoot. The water's really nice. The water's really warm in there. It's not deep. It's only a few inches deep, but it's enough to get your shoes wet. So we got to the other side and then the sand starts to dry out and we got to the dry sand, still in bare feet and we thought, wow, this is it's getting a little warm. It's more than a little warm, that's hot. It's okay, we, we got this, we got this. No, no, we haven't got this. Abort, abort. So all three of us at the same point in time, about 50 yards onto the sand, just suddenly turned around and ran back to the wet sand to get cooled off and we put our shoes back on now. So although our shoes are probably gonna get filled with sand, this hot sand underfoot would be unbearably hot if we were walking on this right now. We rented sandboards from the RV park we stayed at and hiked up the dunes to give sandboarding a try for the first time ever. I didn't go this way. It's like goofy. Here we go. Sandboarding at its finest. Ah. 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 <laughs> it's not as slippery as I thought it would be. The board is super sticky. I'll try to go down some more. It's definitely not as fun as snowboarding, so I think next winter we should definitely go snowboarding. <laughs> okay, let's try this. If I put the weight on the back, like almost like surfing, then it kind of slides down. In the meantime, Yanis had hiked even higher up the dunes. Okay, so we have applied a little bit more wax, so hopefully we'll be doing a little bit better, but I don't have much hope for it. Me too. I think this time, Matt was right about that. Sandboarding is not so cool as snowboarding. And he doesn't even snowboard. <laughs> Snowboarders are really cool people though. I think bags definitely, oh, definitely helps. Yeah? Oh yeah. I've never walked past a snowboarder before, just saying. Probably jump faster down. Okay, what you'll do? Sit or you'll take it off? No, I'll sit. It's 
hard work. Well, it's hard work. This one, yeah. Applying wax makes quite a big difference, but not for long. In about 30 seconds, she'll be going slow again. I still maintain snowboarding is significantly more fun than this. Wow, she is flying down there. She is literally going so fast. I don't know how I can possibly keep up with her. I'm going to try walking. Oh wait, that's too fast. Tried and true technique of pulling the snowboarder. Okay, I think it's walking from here. Yes. <laughs> yes, I achieved 20 kilometers per hour. <laughs> oh, optimistic. So proud of myself. <laughs> and then you ruined it by falling at the very end. Oh no. You know the way back, Matt? Yay! That's another good feature of the Garmin Phoenix 5S. <laughs> In an area where you can't see the trail, you can get back. The shortest path. I'm sure we will find a way otherwise, but this is shorter. Well, I'm glad we tried. Yeah. What? Forgot that sand is hot. The bottle melted? No, I took off the socks. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Don't burn your feet. I think I have actually burned my feet. Me too. Oh, it's colder now. Oh. Yeah. Sun makes a lot of difference on sand temperature as well. Yeah. It was bearable to walk. So everybody knows that this is slow and it's so... Yes, it yes. takes so much effort. But no one listens to me. You're not everybody. Okay, do you want to wash feet or yeah. stuff? Okay. Lots of mosquitoes. Lots of mosquitoes. Right. Every ah. Ah. They know where the meat is. They know where the meat is hanging. Unless you ask their own... Go, go, move, 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 move. move, move. <laughs> Oh, the mosquitoes are vicious. What? I didn't get any. I got like three. Oh, there's one here. Oh, so much for washing feet. In the afternoon after the sandboarding, we decided to go off-roading on the 11 mile Madano Pass Primitive Road. However, we got a little bit more adventure than we bargained for and actually had to rescue our truck the next day. But that is a story for next time.